Uh, let me begin with what we know, and then I will be pleased to answer questions. Uh, as I think you are aware, the state uh, has established a one-mile containment zone. Uh, this is surrounding the epicenter of the outbreak in New Rochelle. Uh, within that zone, there will be a prohibition on large gatherings. Now, this, of course, affects schools, both public and private. It affects houses of worship, potentially other large institutions. Uh, we are in the process right now of consulting with state authorities in order to make sure we have a comprehensive list of the facilities that might be impacted and to make sure that all are contacted so that we can provide them with guidance. It is very important to clarify that this is not an exclusion or quarantine zone. No one is prohibited from entering or leaving the area. This does not affect individual homeowners or families or businesses. It is purely a prohibition on large gatherings in order to make sure that the spread of the virus is mitigated uh, to the greatest degree possible. Uh, from the beginning of this process, uh, the city of New Rochelle has made clear that we would work hand in glove with and take direction from state and county public health authorities, recognizing their greater expertise in this area. Uh, this particular measure is no exception. Uh, we support it. We will collaborate in implementing it, and we will make sure that it, it occurs in the smoothest fashion possible. Uh, second, uh, the National Guard, we are told, uh, will be arriving in New Rochelle in order to assist with logistical and operational challenges that are associated uh, with this matter. Uh, we expect that that will be principally assisting with cleaning, as well as with the delivery of meals uh, to students who may need school lunches and school breakfasts, and therefore uh, would be affected by uh, school closings. Uh, the Guard will not have a military or policing function. As I indicated, they will be here to assist with logistics. Uh, the city itself has activated its emergency operations center so that we are ready to coordinate with the Guard and with other state authorities uh, to whatever degree they recommend and whatever de degree would be constructed. Hand sanitizer. Uh, as you know, the state has created its own brand of hand sanitizer, and a significant shipment of that sanit sanitizer has been brought to New Rochelle. Uh, the city is now coordinating with the state in order to deliver that sanitizer to uh, large institutions in New Rochelle, principally those, but not exclusively those, that serve senior citizens. Uh, however, the sanitizer is not as yet available to the general public. Uh, if and when that changes, we will certainly make an effort uh, to get the word out. Uh, as you know, several days ago, it was announced that uh, nursing homes and assisted living facilities within New Rochelle uh, would no longer be able to accept visitors. Uh, we recognize this is a, a hardship for many people in our community. In fact, it affects my own family. My mother is presently at one of the uh, nursing rehabilitation facilities in New Rochelle. My brothers and I are not able to visit her. It's painful for us, painful for her, but we all recognize it is in the service of critical public health goals. Uh, we know that seniors, uh, those with compromised immune systems, compromised respiratory systems, are at the greatest risk as a result of this virus. We want to do everything possible to make sure that the virus does not spread uh, to these vulnerable populations. Uh, our senior center, the U. Doyle Senior Center, uh, will be closed until further notice uh, for the same reason. Uh, however, we will be delivering cold meals to vulnerable seniors uh, beginning on Thursday. Uh, it, that is one example of the fashion in which the city uh, hopes to think comprehensively about how we can assist uh, neighbors in need. Very important to reiterate the same reminder that we hear from the governor every single day. The vast majority of those who contract coronavirus will recover without difficulty and will recover without hospitalization. It is a relatively small fraction of individuals, again, principally seniors and those with uh, compromised uh, health, uh, who will face more difficult challenges. It is important always to keep that in perspective. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to express my thanks and the thanks of all people in New Rochelle for the exceptional leadership that has been provided by uh, Governor Cuomo, by County Executive Latimer, and by their respective public health officials. Uh, we have been collaborating with them consistently since the beginning of this process. Uh, and uh, we feel as though their attention and focus, not only on the hotspot here in New Rochelle, but on the larger countywide and statewide challenges, has been exceptional. Uh, I also want to express special thanks to the Young Israel of New Rochelle congregation. As many of you know, although this affects everyone in New Rochelle, the heaviest burdens have fallen upon the members of Young Israel. 
Uh, and they have confronted this challenge in a fashion that is not only responsible, uh, but I would characterize as inspiring. Uh, they are concerned, of course, about their own health, the health of neighbors and friends, the health of families. Many are quarantined, which is uh, enormously disruptive uh, to their daily lives. And yet there has been a sense of uh, commitment to the common good, uh, a, a wise and calm acceptance of the need for all of us to observe the dictates of public health. And we are very fortunate that uh, the leadership, both the lay and spiritual of young Israel, have been such responsible partners in confronting this issue. Uh, the last thing I will say is the following, just to state the obvious. This is a major challenge for all of New Rochelle. No community would welcome a challenge of this kind. However, I am enormously proud of the fashion in which the people of New Rochelle have risen to the occasion. They have demonstrated focus and concern that is proportionate to the issue before us, but has not strayed into panic or hysteria of a kind that is unjustified and self-defeating. And although we know that the days ahead will impose all sorts of challenges on many of us, I have no doubt whatsoever that we will meet the challenge in a fashion that is calm, that is serious, and that is supportive of our neighbors. We are strong, we are resilient, and we intend to prove it in the days and weeks ahead. Thank you very much, and at this time, I'll be pleased to accept any questions. May I want to say to your constituents who are seeing something in this containment zone they haven't seen in their lifetime, the forced closure of schools and houses of worship, National Guard on the street, this is all, for many, I'm sure, going to be very disconcerting. Well, as I said a moment ago, um, this is naturally a matter of concern for everyone in New Rochelle and clearly a significant disruption of daily life layered on top of concern for health. So I don't for a moment minimize this, but as I said a moment ago, uh, the people of New Rochelle have proven that they are equal to the challenge. Uh, they have been listening to the guidance of public health professionals, sharing information with each other. The city has attempted to do its part to make sure that our community is as well informed as possible. And I've been enormously moved by the fashion in which neighbors have come together with neighbors. Just to give you one small example, but it's illustrative, our local Girl Scout uh, troop took it upon themselves to put purple ribbons all around the neighborhood that is most heavily impacted as a sign of solidarity with their neighbors. And in response, many neighbors are now raising money for that Girl Scout troop. Uh, it's an illustration of how goodness begets goodness. I don't kid myself that gestures of that kind are sufficient to confront a global pandemic. That's not my point. My point, however, is that we are able, as citizens, if we look at this rationally, calmly, and if we stay uh, informed about the options that we have to protect ourselves and our families, we can meet this challenge and overcome it. A couple can you tell us how Mayor, when does the uh, National Guard arrive? Where will they stay? How many of them are there? And then about the hand sanitizer, when did it arrive? Where is it? How much of it? Uh, just some details. So uh, my understanding is that the hand sanitizer is being distributed now. Um, so uh, the facilities that are scheduled to receive it should get it by the end of the day if they haven't received it already. Uh, with respect to the National Guard, uh, we are still waiting for details. Uh, my expectation is that their primary consultation will be with the school district because uh, they will be assisting in the distribution of meals. Uh, but uh, the city, as I indicated earlier, will support their efforts in whatever fashion we can. We're waiting for direction from them. And by the way, I should say, parenthetically, that I've shared with you what I know. There are many questions that I may not be able to answer yet. This is a, a fast evolving situation. And we've opted to come before you as quickly as possibly as quickly as possible and in as transparent a fashion as possible, but that also means there's some questions we're simply not in a position to answer yet, and we hope we will be able to going forward. I should also add, and maybe I should have said this in my opening comments, for those who don't know, in Westchester County, municipal governments and school districts tend to be independent. And so even though we know a substantial share of the, the burden and concern in the days ahead will concern school matters, it is not my place to speak on behalf of the school district. Uh, I expect that they will be having their own briefing at 5 o'clock today. And so if there are questions that are specifically about the public schools, uh, I would suggest to you that they are best posed then. Can you describe the area, the affected zone, how big it is in, in terms of dimension, and what exactly is within that zone? Are there schools? Are there temples? Are there residents? What exactly is within that zone? So the geography I describe will probably be familiar to most New Rochelle residents, but maybe not so much for those outside of New Rochelle. 
It's centered around what is called the Waikigil neighborhood in the north end of New Rochelle. Uh, the area has a one mile radius uh, as established uh, by the state. I believe we'll actually have maps uh, of the area that will be available for those uh, who want it. It does contain three public schools, uh, Ward Elementary School, Albert Leonard Middle School, and New Rochelle High School, uh, as well as a number of private and parochial schools. There are several houses of worship uh, within the area. Uh, there are two country clubs within the area. Uh, I should also point out that it extends beyond the borders of New Rochelle and also incorporates a portion of the unincorporated uh, town of Eastchester, so there are effects uh, on that side of the border as well. Uh, I do expect that uh, in the hours ahead, uh, we'll be able to provide a more precise listing of the specific institutions that are affected, but that gives you a general sense of what we're talking about. What's I should also say it, it is mixed use in its character. Primarily in its land area, it is residential, uh, but it also has uh, uh, some uh, commercial businesses, including the Waikigil Business District. Mayor, can you yes. so between how many people live and work there, about how many people total are affected in this zone? Uh, that's an interesting question. I don't think we've tallied it up by population. It is several thousand, certainly, although I don't know the exact number. But let me stress again, because there's so much misunderstanding about this, that in some way that's kind of a misleading fashion in which to look at it, because individuals living within this zone are not going to be affected any more than someone living in another part of New Rochelle or living in a different community entirely. Uh, the restrictions deal with large gatherings. It's essentially an institutional restriction not one that applies to individual homeowners or families, except those who are subject to the quarantine that was already implemented, which is a separate matter. So, and uh, maybe the school district might be able to answer this better, but for families that live outside the zone uh, that have kids that attend school inside, or vice versa, families who live in the zone have kids that attend outside, how, uh, how is that being handled? So, um, uh, again, as a general matter, I will defer to the school district, but I can tell you that for the three schools, the three public schools that will have to be closed, all students who attend those schools will be affected whether or not they live within the containment zone. Will private schools be closed also? Yes. Mayor, can you give us some sense of, to whatever extent you know, what this is likely to look at? We're trying to minimize panic, but surely this isn't going to look like a militarized zone. Can you give us some sense of what people can expect it to look like? So uh, I, I have some reluctance to make too many predictions because, again, this is fast moving and no one has experienced an episode like this before. Uh, but as I said before, uh, I expect that the National Guard will be here in a very helpful uh, logistical and organizational support capacity. It's not as though New Rochelle is going to become a militarized community. We're not going to have checkpoints at the border of the containment zone and so forth. So that really should be emphasized because I know just anecdotally, hearing from many folks in the community, there's been considerable misunderstanding about that. People are hearing what's going on in Italy, heard what's going on in China, and may have assumed that what's being put in place in New Rochelle is analogous. It is quite different. This is really, again, a, a geographically defined restriction on large gatherings. It does not impact the way individuals are able to move uh, from place to place or in other respects go about their lives and participate in the commerce of our community. Bob? Uh, why uh, one mile? What is uh, special about that figure of a mile? Did you get anything from the state as to what the logic is there? So the governor in his press conference today and in his conversations with us one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, made it clear that he was taking direction from uh, Commissioner Howard Zucker, the uh, state commissioner of health. Uh, it, that was his determination. Uh, he, in turn, of course, has been consulting with public health officials both at the state and national level to ensure that his judgments are informed by the best possible expertise. We don't have in New Rochelle our own public health apparatus. We don't have our own public health responsibilities. And so the best thing we can do is take direction from and support those who are in the best position uh, to make sound judgments. And so we trust uh, Commissioner Zucker informing the governor to give us direction, and now we're going to assist in the implementation. Mr. Mayor, I yep. have a question. Uh, Go ahead. Since the majority of the students who attend schools here are Spanish-speaking, or Spanish-speaking families, the platforms that are available for communicating what's going on or where they can seek help is quite limited as of this morning. What can we expect in terms of communication pieces where families can call and seek help in Spanish uh, at this point or in the near future? So that's a very important point. Uh, as was noted, uh, a substantial portion of New Rochelle's population is uh, Spanish-speaking. 
Uh, this is obviously a matter that is of vital importance, not just to the containment zone, but to all of New Rochelle. Uh, most of the uh, bulletins and informational sources that have been distributed thus far uh, have been uh, bilingual. Uh, I am told that the hotlines that are staffed by the state uh, have Spanish speakers as well. Um, and uh, certainly we want to make sure that uh, we honor the inclusive and diverse spirit of New Rochelle uh, as we go forward, especially facing a challenge of this kind. If, uh, if that standard is not being met, uh, then we're going to continue working and collaborating with our, our county and state partners in order to do as well as possible. Yes? Um, two questions. Uh, so the National Guard, you, you talked about what they were going to be doing. How, why is the National Guard involved? Um, it seems like something that Nourishell can do on its own. Um, is this going to be part of how it, this is going to be taken care of? Uh, I'm just curious on why the National well, so there are some things New Rochelle can do on its own. For example, we expect that we will be able to deliver the cold meals uh, to the seniors who will no longer, at least for a limited period of time, be able to uh, attend the U Doyle Senior Center. But a community like ours is not capable of delivering thousands of meals on a daily basis. Uh, we simply don't have the personnel and the resources to mount an operation on that scale. Uh, and uh, we are grateful that the state has recognized this fact, has recognized that these circumstances pose unique issues in New Rochelle, and is essentially flooding the zone uh, with the resources necessary uh, to make sure that the people in New Rochelle, that their needs are met to the greatest degree possible. It's essentially, it's a supplement to what you, you were doing already. It's just you just need more people to build it. A lot more people, right. yes. Um, the other question is, uh, I know I talked to a bunch of people in the Wackfield Shopping Center and businesses in that area, and they're really struggling. You know what you're doing, um, or even levels above the state and federal to help out these businesses that are afraid of going under? So uh, you make a very good point. The, the county executive and I just a few days ago made a point of uh, having lunch at a kosher Asian restaurant in the Waikigil area, uh, simply as a means of demonstrating confidence in and support for our, our business community, and by extension, demonstrating support for a neighborhood that uh, is experiencing a challenge of this kind. I, I do not have concerns over the long term. Uh, we have a strong and growing economy that is bolstered not only by small businesses but by uh, a dramatic revitalization that is occurring in our downtown area. There is no doubt, however, that in the short term uh, some businesses are suffering um, and uh, we do not have um, uh, the kind of resources or programmatic uh, uh, capacity to provide small business assistance for a small municipality like New Rochelle. I know that New York City uh, is looking at measures that may be helpful, and it is among many, many items that I know we'll be discussing with county and state authorities as we move forward. Okay, so you, you're in contact with you know, state and federal people that might be able to help them out, at this, but nothing at this point? Nothing specific at this okay. point. To, to put a final point on it, you're saying people shouldn't worry when they see the National Guard. Uh, correct. I, look. I, I want to be real about this. When you see uh, uh, someone from the National Guard on your street or outside your home, it is natural and human to find it somewhat unsettling uh, because it, it's a, it's a vis visible illustration that things in your community are not functioning as they ordinarily do. But I want to emphasize, the Guard is here to help us. They are here to assist with the logistics and operations that are simply beyond the capacity of any municipality the size of New Rochelle. They are not here to provide a military function. They're not here to provide a policing function. New Rochelle is not on martial law. Uh, there is no exclusion zone. There is no quarantine zone. No one is prohibited from moving around New Rochelle. So the bottom line to your answer to your question is, yes, don't worry about the guard being here. They are here to help. Okay. Uh, just to follow up on that earlier uh, comment you made, you said you wouldn't speak about the school district. But when you're talking about thousands of meals being delivered, can you clarify? because? There's a lot of kids who go to schools that are closed that get free or reduced lunches from the school district that are not going to get them anymore. So how many meals do you think they're delivering to the school kids versus uh, people who are maybe quarantined in their home? Uh, my understanding is that the Guard will be assisting in the delivery of meals to all students who qualify for a free or reduced uh, meals within our public schools. Again, I, I would urge you to pose uh, questions to the school district. They're in the best position to answer in an authoritative fashion, but that is my understanding. Mr. Mayor, what's the uh, daily testing capacity of New Rochelle and will the National Guard be assisting with that? So it's not New Rochelle's daily testing capacity, to be clear. It's the state's testing capacity. Uh, the last I heard, there was a, an ability to test several hundred. 
uh, during the course of the day. The governor announced earlier uh, that Northwell will be establishing operations in New Rochelle with automated testing, uh, which should augment uh, the testing capacity. But uh, I would urge you to speak directly with state officials because they are the ones who are most knowledgeable about that, uh, that issue. Mr. Mayor, what happens after the two weeks are over? Does everything go back to normal? Is it like it never happened? What's next? Um, if I had a crystal ball two weeks ago, I would not have imagined myself standing at this podium <laughs> reporting to you the things that I am reporting right now. Um, we know that this is an evolving situation. It is an unprecedented situation. I think it would be foolhardy of us to make uh, conclusive predictions about what's going to happen next. The best thing we can do is take it one day at a time, sometimes one hour at a time, and face it in a fashion that is calm, that is intelligent, that is cognizant of the full spectrum of public health information that we can receive, and that reflects genuine collaboration between the different levels of government that have responsibilities here. And as I said before, I think that's the way in which the people of New Rochelle have addressed this challenge and will continue doing so going forward. Yes? So at this point, have you heard from state officials when the National Guard will be arriving here? Uh, I have not heard a specific time. Uh, again, we are speaking almost constantly. If I wasn't having this press conference right now, the likelihood is I would be on the phone with them. So even since the time I began speaking, it's possible that this story has evolved. Uh, but again, I, I just don't know minute by minute what may have changed. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you all for being here. Thank you.